So uh, hello all, I'm, I'm James from Hong Kong, uh, one of the OSC freeholder, um, probably the best uh, 50 in the world. And I'm now a senior consultant at KPMG. Uh, I graduated in 2018 with a bachelor degree uh, majoring in information systems and computer science. Um, but actually I didn't really uh, start my ethical hacking work uh, right after my graduation. Uh, since I really had no idea that hacking can be an occupation and I didn't have a course talking about hacking uh, when I was still in university. So and instead, I started uh, as an IT auditor in my first year. And because of that, the term uh, penetration test came to my ear and I discovered that uh, hacking can actually be an occupation since then. Um, and I actually started my first uh, penetration test uh, work in late 2019 thanks to my current employer and um, I could finally and I could finally enter into this industry and I found that I really like and I, I should have started all this earlier uh, because I really I, I found what I really like and during these years uh, I tried the different kinds of security assessment projects uh, mainly focusing on uh, penetration tests and Windows retiming and um, probably more on Windows malware development and also I took a number of certifications, including uh, OSC3 in January. So speaking of uh, my try harder uh, journey, um, the order for me to take uh, OSC3 is OSCP first, OSW, and then OSCD. I got my uh, OSCP in June last year, uh, OSW in August last year, and then OSCD. January this year. And actually, uh, at the very first place, I didn't plan to take OSC3, but only uh, OSCP, because I actually had no interest to OSW and OSCD. But then there was a discount to buy uh, the free courses as a bundle, and that was really a great deal. And so I got it. Uh, luckily, uh, I didn't miss it. Uh, since I found the knowledge and content uh, it covers, actually is really broad and and you will find, uh, I, I mean, it will be useful one day. And for example, without OSCD, uh, I wouldn't understand that much about how an executable, executable work uh, on Windows and eventually it's helpful on doing uh, malware development from my own perspective. Um, and besides, uh, uh, it offers me the knowledge to kind of uh, start understanding uh, others work on GitHub and Twitter. <laughs> And there are multiple reasons for me to take certifications from offensive security offset. Uh, first of all, offset is reputable and personally, I think uh, the courses are really well organized and more importantly, the hands-on the hands-on labs and exams proctoring. So, which I think it really really can prove my ability. OSC three is definitely the hardest. Uh, certifications that I've have I've ever had, and then because in this, you know, I, it requires you to have three uh, advanced level certifications, and each certification requires on um, deep level of understanding and a lot of time to study and practice. At least for me, um. However, it really depends on your background and uh experience. Uh, let's say for me, I do consider myself 
uh, as more familiar with the uh, Active Directory um, penetration test, and therefore OSCP would be easier for me. And then while both uh, OSWP and OSED are much more difficult actually, as I didn't have many uh, chances to do white box uh, penetration test and binary exploitation. Mm -hmm. Actually, I would not consider myself as a highly efficient learner, but to describe myself kind of uh, addicted to uh, cybersecurity. For example, I will always check my uh, LinkedIn, GitHub and Twitter to see if there is any update on uh, cybersecurity, especially on red teaming and uh, mal uh, malware development. Uh, regarding how I start my offset courses, uh, usually I will start uh, with the PDF first and then watch the video whenever uh, I found places that are really complicated and confusing. Um, and it will be more easier to understand with video, especially uh, for OSCD actually, because it's quite hard to follow the how wind debug works or how memory works with PDF. <music> to be honest, I think most of the labs are difficult, especially uh, for the challenges in OSCD since my reverse engineering is really weak. Uh, but whenever I found places that I don't know, or I don't, I don't understand. I would just go over the chapter again to make sure I really understand uh, what happened. And other than that, the uh, Discord channel uh, from Offset is really useful. I actually sought help there, and people are really nice and supportive. Uh, there will definitely be someone to answer your questions. Uh, even sometimes I really just directly message the buddy on the channel to ask questions. Uh, regarding the exam preparation, uh, I don't have many tips actually, but do, do try the challenges in the course and make notes on them. Uh, because I think challenges are actually quite similar to the exam. And apart from Nooks, I think personal mentality is quite important. One thing to accept is it's really okay to fail the exam. Um, do not compare yourself to the others because everyone's um, background is really different. Um, failing an exam is not a big deal. And, and it actually can let you know uh, which part or what you don't know or how you can improve uh, next time. Uh, just treat it as a practice. So, and besides the patient, and I always got stuck during exam and organize what you found and uh, link it to the course content and taking enough rest is also important. I think uh, offset is, is actually providing enough time uh, uh, in, in that 48 hours. And so if I could travel back uh, in time and talk to myself, I would definitely ask myself to read the exam guide uh, since I failed my first OSDP because of failing to comply uh, with the requirement. And moreover, I would suggest myself to make uh, my notes more organized so that I can uh, link to those ideas and keywords uh, more easily and quicker. Personally, I wish OSDD can be held more frequently and in more places. Um, besides, it would be great uh, if there is a course relevant to mobile app pen test. And also, I hope there is a way for parser to get the latest course content. Uh, regarding the uh, the PDF or the contents, I would say overall is great. Uh, what offset teaches is really deep and it will let you uh, understand what's happening behind and allows you to kind of, uh, I would say, uh, enough knowledge to let you do your own research. Uh, one thing I would like to uh, have, uh, I mean, in the PDF is that uh, I would like to have an interesting page so that I can uh, know where does the term showed before and I can relate the concepts more easily and quickly. So uh, recently I'm planning to learn more on Red Teaming uh, for my OS and some basic Blue Team stuff. Uh, the reason is that I, I found the Red Team is getting more and uh, more popular since I can see a trend of uh, switching from uh, Windows to Mac OS for end users, which means uh, as a Red Teamer, uh, I may have a Red Teamer project uh, with targeting user using uh, my, my book 
uh, someday, and that's why I want to get myself well prepared. Uh, while for the blue team stuff, um, actually I think it will be beneficial, uh, to understand how blue team works and, uh, when you uh, and so that when you give suggestion or work with blue team, you can provide a more tailored, uh, or feasible solution, uh, to them when, from from an attacker perspective. <laughs> like to say thank you to you David um I because I still remember back to last September or October uh during the time offset is migrating the, new, the old system to the new one and I met some technical error that I couldn't receive any email from offset uh, especially at that time I was so worried since I had started my OSCD courses but I couldn't get any of my course materials and back to the old days I, I still remember there was a uh time limit to get uh, your your course materials and luckily uh, you are my LinkedIn connection and you were really helpful you call you ha you immediately had a call with me and sorted it out for me so uh, thank you so much David mm -hmm.